Hey guys, what is going on? It is Weskimo here. Today I'm bringing you a cipher guide on the map Bind. And let's jump straight into this video, guys. Okay, guys, so we're going to start here at A side defensive cipher. And uh, we're going to start by just looking at traps. Traps are pretty simple on A side. I almost always use the same traps. The first one I put here, make sure nobody can push through the mid into uh, our lamps area without me knowing. And the second one I like to put here. Uh, so this is that if anybody's going to come and try and get an angle like this to peek here or if they want to try and peek here they've got to come past this trap first okay if you put it on this doorway they can still peek from behind the trap and still get shots off on people so i think this is much better to put it here as far as the camera goes one of my favorite spots to put it is uh, up here where i'm looking just now so we stand on this box at the start of the round you want to do this before the round starts so we're just going to uh, jump and place the camera here Okay, so from here we can see if people push down here. We can also see if someone was hiding here in lamps. We also have basically full vision of the bomb site. If uh, somebody's pushing around here, we get to see them. And I just think this is overall just a really good camera and it's not in the most visible spot. As far as the traps go, I like to normally put traps around um, my wires or at least around these doorways. And then finally what I would do is in the round, I normally play a sniper and I would sit here like this here like this, I think it's got a bit of lag there, or back here like this, and we can just look to the traps, as soon as we see someone hit a trap, we have the choice, we can detonate it, if we think we're going to get shots put on us, if we think we can get them, we're just going to sit around and try and snipe the people as they come through the traps. Okay, let's jump over to B-side defense now guys. Okay, so when we're on B-side defense as Cypher, uh, I normally start the round when the, the barriers are still up by putting my camera up here. Camera's here, we can see into window and we can also see down onto the corridor from here. And then as the round starts, I'll often be waiting at this gate. I'll walk forward quickly, throw a trap there. Uh, you should be able to throw that before they can see you throw it. And then quickly come into here, throw this trap there like that. And then we're gonna get back and we're gonna sit back either here and snipe onto here like this by flicking through the camera. Or we're going to sit back here and flick with the camera. And when we see someone or a trap's activated, we come forward and we snipe, and we shoot with a gun, whatever we've got. Or we can also sit in the back here and do similar thing. Each one of these is a bit more defensive um, or aggressive. You can choose which one. With traps, I will normally put one on this doorway and then one on this doorway. And what this is, is if someone is pushing me, I think I'd like to say I come, I see them, I come forward, I go to shoot, and, oh, I missed my shot, for example, I quickly hit a trap, gives me time to back away and get some, uh, get to safety. Okay guys, so that is the setups for the defending side that I most often like to do, and if you do these in game, you'll most often have uh, pretty decent rounds with these and uh, yeah let's jump over to attacking side and see how we can use cypher on the offensive side on this map okay so if we're on the attacking side and we're going to be pushing b uh, our job as cypher on attacking side is long to watch the team's back okay so if our team is going to be pushing through b say let's say they're going to go through b short and b long we want to be like hanging around this kind of area here set our traps up around here make sure that uh, people don't come behind us so the first one I like to do is just somewhere in this area. Oh, my cat is jumping onto my keyboard right now. Um, so this one stops people rotating through the back. I put it further back because if the trap was here, for example, someone could still be here and maybe get shots off onto you. Excuse my cat, please, guys. Um, so here allows you to see someone come in, uh, like sneaking up on you from behind, from far away, so that if they hit this, you have time to react and know that they're coming. The second one that I like to do on this side with my trap is to put it on this corner here or on this doorway here and this is just to stop people rotating from mid towards you and my cat is sat on the keyboard again. Just move it off a second. <laughs> okay. So either here or here is both good. And then we're gonna just sit around the back normally around this area and just make sure no one comes behind us, okay? As far as camera goes, on attacking side, you want to use it to scout as much as possible. If you're able to push up to here, maybe, you could use a camera like this. There we go, we can scout with the camera like this, or the same on the on the B1. <laughs> Just got my cat once again sat on me. Hey, how are you doing, Mumbel? How's everyone doing today? 
Okay guys, so that is how I like to attack B as Cypher. I'm going to move over now and show you how I like to attack A as Cypher. Okay guys, so if we are pushing A on offensive side, uh, once again we're going to be watching the team's back. So the first trap I always like to put in this tunnel, but I like to put it further back so we get uh, the information quicker if someone's rotating. Because if this trap goes off, you, you know somebody's coming behind you, you know, like th they've made a decision to commit to be behind you. It's not like they're just going to run back somewhere else. So like. This gives you time to react, uh, let you know that somebody is coming behind you. Uh, if we're pushing down A short, which is what we'll normally do, start the round, I'll just throw this trap on this doorway and throw my camera uh, either up here to watch the back or use the camera to scout, which I think is slightly better. We can use the camera like this really quickly. Quickly look, see if it's there. They'll probably shoot the camera, but you should get information of like one or two players sitting in this area. And from here, we're just gonna watch the team's back. We're gonna sit around here Make sure no one comes this way and make sure nobody comes this way. We're also going to watch this teleporter. If we hear the teleporter sound instantly, we're going to be looking at this. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this guide. It was kind of quick and I've not made a video in a few weeks because I've been moving house, but I'm set up at my new house now. So back to making content a lot more regularly. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.